Princess Anne and Princess Eugenie with their husband join the Queen's holiday at Balamoral. Princess Anne and her husband Timothy Lawrence like to go sailing off the coast of Scotland. They may visit the Queen at Balmoral following their treasured trip this year. Princess Anne, 70, is a keen sportswoman and shares a passion for sailing with her husband Vice Admiral Timothy Lawrence. Last year, after plans to celebrate her 70th birthday were reportedly cancelled due to the pandemic, the Princess Royal and Tim enjoyed a sailing trip instead, it's believed. The couple sailed around the west coast of Scotland to celebrate Anne's birthday, a source reported. The Vice Admiral told ITV, our ideal break if we have a break, is to go up to our boat on the west coast of Scotland and spend a few days sometimes getting wet and cold. Once on board their 44-foot yacht, the princess is the better sailor, Tim claimed. He said, I navigate. I know how to get from A to B but she's a better sailor of the boat, better at setting the sails. While last year Anne's party plans were called off, the no-nonsense royal could celebrate with family at Balmoral this year. A source told Vanity Fair last August. There were plans to mark the Princess Royal's birthday with a party at the palace but it has been cancelled for now. It took some convincing because Anne doesn't like a fuss made about these things but it was felt there should be a family get-together with friends to mark the occasion. That's been now on ice. Queen Elizabeth II, 95, began her official summer break at Balmoral at the start of the week and is expected to remain there until autumn. She is currently hosting her son Prince Andrew, 61, his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, 61, and their youngest daughter Princess Eugenie, 31. Eugenie is enjoying her first ever family holiday in the Highlands since she and her husband Jack Brooksbank welcomed their son August to the world in February. Anne and Tim may be enjoying another Scottish sailing trip ahead of the Princess Royal's birthday on August 15. They could pop by Balmoral to celebrate Anne's birthday with a family party this weekend. Anne and Tim live in Gloucestershire on the Gatcombe Park estate the Queen gave her daughter as a wedding present. Anne's two children Zara Tyndall, 40, and Peter Phillips, 43, live in the grounds of their mother's estate and they are a tight-knit family. While neither Zara nor her brother were raised with royal titles they are much-loved members of the Queen's family and have been regulars at Balmoral over the years. Zara had her wedding to Mike Tyndall in Edinburgh in 2011 and if Anne chooses to celebrate her birthday in Scotland then they will almost certainly travel to Balmoral to be with her. Prince Andrew and his family are expected to remain in the Highlands until next week. The Duke of York arrived at the Queen's Scottish hideaway just hours after Jeffrey Epstein accuser Virginia Jufrey filed a lawsuit in the USA on Monday claiming the Duke of York sexually abused her when she was 17. While Andrew has not responded to this latest twist in the Epstein saga, he has previously denied all allegations of sexual misconduct made against him. Yesterday, Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank arrived at Balmoral, and they brought along their six-month-old son, August, for his first trip to the Scottish castle. Princess Eugenie and Jack also visited the Queen at Balmoral Castle last summer, but this is their first time traveling to the estate as a family of three. Princess Eugenie, Jack, and August, who primarily reside at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, took a commercial British Airways flight from Heathrow Airport in London to Aberdeen Airport, where they then hopped into a waiting Range Rover that took them to Balmoral, per photos obtained by the source. They joined Princess Eugenie's father, Prince Andrew, and mother, Sarah Ferguson who arrived at the Scottish castle earlier this week. The Duke of York and Fergie travelled to Balmoral shortly after Virginia Jufrey filed a lawsuit accusing the Duke of York, Prince Andrew and the rest of the royal family have remained silent regarding the lawsuit.